Good morning, everyone. This is Diane Murray of Southern Art Gallery, and today we are painting this beautiful little donkey. Um, my students in my advanced class have requested uh, to learn to paint animals, and I thought this would be really a wonderful little subject since I have donkeys, and I, uh, donkeys are incredibly wonderful, wonderful pets. So I will start this with. Um, masking out. I've done this sketch and transferred it to my um, to my watercolor board. I've also done a preliminary sketch in my sketchbook just to see um, to work out the values and so forth. Since we're using a limited palette uh, it's going to be very difficult to get these blonde colors so I chose to darken the hair um, on this little donkey a little bit so the first thing I will do is put in uh, the masking fluid and let that dry and I will do a bit of that and we will be back. This is the masking fluid that I prefer to use because it has a very fine tip. So let me do a little of that and I'll be... And I'm back and I have just been masking off the uh, little fine hairs that you can see all over his head. Donkeys are very fuzzy, um, especially in the winter months. So uh, they shed out in the summer, at least mine do, like horses. But in the winter, they're very fuzzy and their hair is actually curly. And as you can see, it comes along. They have almost a, a, a bang situation here, which is really cute where they have these little tufts of hair that kind of um, come in here. So I'm just mapping out some of those just to give the appearance of fur. And we'll fill a lot of these in as we go along. Mostly I just want to remind us that we have these, this hair that's coming down here. and It comes down from the top of his head in little tufts. And actually, it's just real cute how that happens. And then this comes up and curls, comes up, and then it's thicker here. So there's almost a little line right here. I don't want to overmask that. If you overmask, it's very hard to um, bring it back. And it's the, the fur that's basically shaping, giving him his shape. So. Okay, I think that is good enough. So we'll let that dry. And we will start painting this little guy. Okay, we're back and our masking fluid is uh, dry enough, I think. And the closest that I could come to matching this color with this limited palette was with um, Burnt Sienna and a little bit of ultramarine blue and a lot of water. And that, and I'll just be laying in this first wash so we can kind of um, just get something in here. Let's just make that very light there. We'll kick that back up. And this is very light down here. And painting with the uh, direction of the fur. We're basically just mapping this out. This is a little darker under here because that's in shadow from this hair. This little tuft of hair that's up here. And we'll bring that down. In here, get some of our color laid up in here. There's a bit of a very white area right here that we want to try to save. So we'll just use clear water on that. And that actually comes all the way down here. And this is all quite soft here as well and right in there. 
and then his little tufts of hair. And you can see this is barely, I barely have, this is uh, darker right in here. See this area? It's almost like a triangle that comes under here. And this is his neck right here. So we'll paint that on out. That's a little bit darker right in here. And darker under his the shadow of his head. So that's darker there. And then this is all lighter, so we'll use mostly just clear water in here just to get something on the paper. And this is all lighter in here. This is this is actually what's lighter in here, so we'll lift that off. Comes all the way down here. And up in here, and we'll lift that back with the belly of the brush. Then we'll come in here with this, which is a little bit darker and comes down like that, and almost in a wedge. Let's darken that some more. And then we'll just use pretty much clear water out here where that's lighter. Okay, and in his hair, his little ear, just quite light up in here. Just to establish some, uh, the definition, the form of his head, basically. And then we'll come back in here with some darker colors mixed in there for his hair. Then we'll take a little ultramarine blue and drop it in here where he has this little spot where their hair radiates out from. We'll just put a few, few darks in there. We need to put some darks in his hair up here because he has the dark um, underneath the tufts of hair. So I'm just kind of putting that in to just show there are some darker areas in there. In his hair. Then his whole muzzle is quite blue. grayer down here. Very light there, but it's got a, quite a bit of blue right in here. Probably not that much. But, um, let's make a little, make it a little grayer. That's better. And this kind of goes up in here. That. And then we have it right here. They have the softest noses. They're just incredibly soft. And I need to make that darker in there, which we will in just a moment. Then we'll go ahead and lay this in his eyebrow. There's also some blue up in there. And in here, and of course in his eye. We'll just drop that in like that, and then we'll darken that in just a minute. Okay, he's got a little bit of dark up in here, underneath that hair, and a, bunch, a bit of dark under here, where that ear comes in there. And there's a bit of dark on the tip of that ear. Okay, and we'll just put a little flex of color in here to give us some just variations. And these actually are a bit darker down here in between those tufts of hair. He's got a shadow up in here that's actually a little more burnt sienna, though. Right up under here, under his.
his neck and right up in here. So we'll just kind of lay that in there a bit. And then we'll just wash that out with the water so it's not so harsh. Okay. Then we'll just start putting in our fur, which is really the fun part. I'll get a smaller brush shortly to do that with though. So we're just building texture here because of course fur has lots of texture. So you just want to be kind of loose with this. Okay, and I'm going to dry this and then we'll be back and uh, work on some more on the fur. Okay, what I'm doing now is I'm just laying in a background wash of uh, ultramarine blue with a little bit of bright red or pyro red, whichever one you have. And that's just giving us a nice uh, background. And I did pre-wet the board first. And I did turn my board so that um, a bit easier to do. I like these modeled backgrounds because um, it's much easier, especially if you're a beginner, to put in a modeled background than it is to do a perfectly smooth wash, which does take a, um, a bit of practice. I really like this um, real lavender color under here. It's starting to dry a bit, so we're probably going to get some brush marks there, but that's okay. We'll just kind of wash that all out. I love how ultramarine uh, granulates. That's why you've got this interesting um, granulating pattern going on here, which I think is just beautiful. And I am holding my board where it's dry. Don't hold your board where, where it's wet or you get fingerprints, which uh, we all learn the hard way. So I'm going to let this uh, migrate around a little bit and see what we think of that background. Try to tease that around a bit more while it's still wet. You can, do, you can manipulate this as long as it's wet. It's when it starts drying that um, you will have a problem. I'm going to tilt that back so it doesn't have uh, these hard lines under his whiskers. And you see we did get a bleed back here because I went in when that was uh, too dry. But that's all right. Well, if we don't like it, we can always do a subsequent layer. I kind of like that, actually. So let's dry that, and then we will uh, decide what we do next.